we come back, there will be so much gratitude for what theatre is. Hey, I'm Miriam Teetley, star of the West End musical and Juliet, and I'm going to talk about theatre and lockdown. I got into theatre when I was about three years old. I went to my local dance school, but I was so, so shy. Like, I did not think that I would actually end up in theatre. I used to go onto the stage and I'd forget all my dances, I'd run off. It was just the worst. I was so scared. But when my brother joined, he was just incredible as soon as he started. I was like so in awe of how easy he would make it look. And he was my duet partner. So he just inspired me so much and helped me to find that love for theatre. And then it just like, there was just a time when I was just like, oh my goodness, I love this. This is amazing. And this makes me so happy. And I just love what I share with the audiences every time I go out there. I had my first job at Regent's Park Open Air Theatre. It was called On The Town. And I played one of the leads in that, Claire de Lune, and actually from there I got an award for Best Actress in a Musical at the Stage Debut Awards. So that was honestly just amazing, seeing as that was the first time I'd actually performed professionally. Um, and then after that, I went into the original cast of Hamilton, where I was ensemble and cover Skylar Sisters. And then after that, I went into the current show that I am in, which is the lead of the West End musical and Juliet. And I honestly cannot wait to get back. The highlight of my career would have to be the opening night of Anne Juliet. It was honestly so surreal. I mean, leading a show is its own thing. Like that is just amazing in itself. But the fact that I'm also originating this role, that first time when we showed it to an audience and really just captivated them and when I'd feel them lean in as I like took my first breath and sang them my first line, it was just so surreal. I will never forget that moment. <laughs> We came in on Monday, I think it was Monday the 16th of March, and we came in and we did warm up as normal. There was sort of this energy in the air, we didn't know what was going to happen, it was so uncertain. But we continued to do warm up, and then after we went to our dressing rooms, and then we heard on the Tannoy, our company manager called everyone to stage, it was cast and crew, and she never calls cast and crew. So we were just like, oh my goodness, this is going to be horrendous news. So we went down and she told us that we had to close the show and they didn't know how long it was going to be for, but it was definitely going to be for two weeks. So I was like, okay, you know what? Two weeks, I can, I can just about do that. That's fine. Two weeks, let's make this work. And then as it just went on and the weeks passed and the months passed, I mean, nobody foresaw that we would still be here today, not having gone back. It just, it was really, really heartbreaking. And um, we've tried to stay strong, but we honestly just can't wait to get back. The thing I miss the absolute most about theatre is that experience that you share with the audience. Because that is, that is the most amazing thing that you have with live theatre. That's what makes it, you know? And every time that you come in and do a show, it's a different experience that you have with that audience. And when you feel them lean in and when you feel them going on that journey with you and you, you sort of transcend with them and you take them on this journey and take them somewhere, it's just so, so incredible. And that's definitely something we haven't been able to replicate in this time of lockdown because there's nothing quite like live theater and being there in the flesh with those people and experiencing something that is happening in real time and so with all the mistakes that we make you know something that happens that's funny we all experience it in that moment and you know i definitely miss that so so much when we come back i hope that we can build back in terms of the stories that are being told, you know, more positive stories being told and from different people's perspectives. I mean, with the year that we've had and everything that's gone on, I think it's opened up and shed light on different sort of um, issues that we haven't maybe touched on before. So it will be nice to see different spins on stories from different writers, different artists, from lots of different perspectives. That would be amazing to see a much more inclusive feel to theatre.
When we come back, there will be so much gratitude for what theatre is. I mean, honestly, what theatre brings is so special. You know, taking everyone on that journey, giving them that, that escapism. I think we just, we just know how much we need it because it's been taken away from us. You never realise what you've got until, you, until it's gone. And it's so true, that saying. So I think when everybody gets back, it will just be like such a sigh of relief and just happiness and love when we're all back together. Ha <laughs> ha.